Tissue Butters Violin Studio Honors Recital. Today's program will consist of music from the Suzuki Violin School repertoire. Nearly 80 years ago, a Japanese violinist by the name of Shinichi Suzuki realized that this impressive fact, children around the world all learn to speak their, na speak their native language with ease. He began to apply the basic principles of children learning a language to children learning how to play the violin. He called his method the mother tongue approach. His method included private weekly lessons, group lessons with other violin students, parental attendance at all lessons, parental oversight at home when their child is practicing, loving encouragement by the teacher and parents, and repetition and listening of the music that is being learned. These are just some of the important features of the Suzuki method. Dr. Suzuki based his approach on the belief that, and I quote, musical ability is not an inborn talent, but an, inability which can, but an ability which can be developed. Any child who is properly trained can develop musical ability, just as all children develop the ability to speak their mother tongue. The potential of every child is unlimited. The Suzuki Violin School is graded repertoire, and each piece was carefully selected by Dr. Suzuki to teach a particular skill or technique. And now, if the students would come forward, we will begin the honors recital. popular tune made famous by Mozart, Twinkle Theme, is the first official piece students learn in the Suzuki method. While Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Twinkle Theme, may be a simple song to sing, you might be surprised to know that there are more than 36 skills that a student has to master before they can play it on their violin. These skills that are mastered lay a strong foundation for proper technique and understanding for the next several pieces that are learned. And now, Twinkle Theme. <laughs> Next on the program is Lightning Road.
Go Tell Aunt Rhody. <laughs> skills from the twinkle themes, the next song, O Come Little Children, is a sweet Christmas carol, and it teaches the students an upbow technique. An upbow technique is typically used for music with an upbeat. Please enjoy O Come Little Children. exercise pieces that were written by Dr. Shinichi Suzuki. These pieces aid in learning to play faster notes with speed and accuracy. Perpetual motion also introduces the use of the pinky finger to the students. Please enjoy Allegro.
And now we will hear a perpetual motion. mainly focus on using the D string, which is the second lowest string on the violin. So watch carefully, and I think you're going to notice the students playing on the lower strings. Please enjoy Oliveretto. perpetual motion, etude focuses on playing with speed and accuracy through repetition. Etude is in a new key signature that introduces the students to a new finger placement on the violin. Please enjoy etude. Thank you. 
are now ready for the exciting moment of learning to play the Bach minuets. Johann Sebastian Bach is one of the most influential composers of music history. These three minuets were written for social dances in the 1700s, and it's very likely the founding fathers of America would have heard these songs played at balls and dinner parties. So let's begin with minuet number one. Thank you. 
foundation for learning how to play slurred notes. Slurred notes are when two or more notes are played together in one direction on the bow. The song, The Happy Farmer, continues to reinforce that technique. So let's enjoy hearing The Happy Farmer. This last piece highlights everything that the children have learned in volume one, and it also teaches students the technique of four note slurs and pizzicato. Pizzicato is the plucking of the violin strings, so watch for that. Here's the last song of the Suzuki Violin School, volume one, Gavat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you for listening to the first half of today's honors recital.